o'clock in the morning on uh, Tuesday the 17th and I have a 6.30 a.m. flight to get out to Los Angeles and I do not want to be awake right now but unfortunately I am and I have to go to the airport now. At the airport. It is 4.20 in the morning. You probably can't see that, but yeah, it's gonna show on the beach a bit. So it is day two in California. We're still in LA, but we are going to be making the trip down to San Diego for the San Diego Comic Con, the ultimate nerd convention. Um, so we're going to be driving down there and stopping at some beaches along the way. And then tonight we have a uh, concert, John Williams music, um, so that'll be cool. So we're gonna go get on the road. We are on the beach at uh, it's the Newport Beach. On our way from San Diego, from uh, Los Angeles to San Diego, there's the beach right over there. So we can go swimming. And then hopefully, if the sun comes out, get some uh, get some droning going on. But we uh, shall see. The sun comes out right after we swim. But anyway, so we did some swimming on the beach and I flew my drone a bit, um, but I did narrowly escape a seagull attack because um, seagulls are apparently quite territorial and one of them tried to attack my drone. Thankfully, it did not succeed and the drone survived, but that would not have been good if a seagull had attacked my drone while it was flying over the ocean. So, thankfully it survived. I have arrived in San Diego on the first day of the San Diego Comic-Con. And in a few hours, I'm going to go see John Williams' concert. I mean, well, John Williams is gonna actually be there, but it's gonna be his music. Anyway, so, uh, I'm gonna get some showers and put on my Jedi robes. Hello there. So we're going to the uh, John Williams concert, and I think I think we might be in the right place. <laughs> Lots of cosplaying going on. Lots of cosplaying. So, so, oh, uh, who are you? Oh, are you a hybrid? He's Jurassic Jedi. Nice, Jurassic Jedi. Jurassic Jedi. 
Oh, we won the, the costume contest for Obi-Wan Kenobi and Associated Jedi. Um, so the show's gonna get started soon. Um, not gonna be able to record it, but should be a good time. The show's over. Good night, Internet. On my way to Comic-Con. In costume, of course. It's not the most fancy cosplay that's ever been done, but it's something. The metro is probably going to be stupid crowded, but we'll see. I've never been here before. This is it. San Diego Comic-Con. It's a big sign over there. Comic-Con International. There's lots of people here. This is nothing. It's going to get immeasurably crowded later. So, I'm at the Nintendo Gaming Lounge where they're supposed to have the new Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, a playable demo that you can just walk in and play Super Smash Bros. Ultimate for a round or two, which is super awesome, except the line looks like this. That's what the line looks like. big mural. Everyone is here. They just got game after game after game after game of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Going on. Oh my! Look at this thing. Got the Master Sword. And the Sheikah Slate down there. Look at this place! They got Mario Odyssey, FIFA, Mario Tennis, Donkey Kong, Smash Brothers over there. No big stage, I don't know what they're doing over there. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker way over there. Got a big uh, Donkey Kong mallet. Lots of Smash Brothers. So, outside the convention center, they have this Star Trek Discovery Mirror Universe exhibit with props from props from Discovery's Mirror Universe. So I'm gonna go get in line to get inside there and uh, see some Mirror Universe stuff. Oh is this is this the actual costume? Michael Burnham's Terran Terran uniform. Oh yeah. Okay so there's Emperor Giorgio. Okay. Emperor Giorgio and uh, and these are the, here's the swords and daggers of the Terran Empire. Uh, Paul Stamets' Terran uniform, this is Anthony Rapp. Oh, there's a, there's a quote on the wall. Oh, it's the phaser prop. Nice, the phaser, hand phaser, a phaser rifle. Oh, oh, Captain Killy. Captain Killy. Ash Tyler. Oh, Captain Lorca. Captain Lorca's jacket. So here we have some 10 forward vodka from the next generation and James T. Kirk straight bourbon whiskey. Over at the, the Dell Gaming Experience, they, this is really cool. They have this huge laptop <laughs> set up and you play this game by stepping on the giant keys. It's really fun.
two of Comic Con. Hall H is uh, Hall H is right over there. If only we could get inside. The Star Trek panels today, but. So here we have the uh, art gallery. And there's some things from different movies. We've got Empire Strikes Back. Palpatine. We've got uh, Yoda. Arts. This is all concept art for different things. We've got uh, indoor over here. Some, some little tiny guy stuff. Oh, this is cool. Uh, Ray and Kylo Ren, Last, Je Last Jedi, Rebel Fleet. Here's some more uh, concept art. We've got Solo, uh, Blockade Runner. Concept art over here. Oh, here's some original Guardians of the Galaxy art. No, I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'll take a look. Yeah, maybe. Original Chuck Jones cell art. This is the actual actual cells that were used in the shows. Well, I stopped by the uh, the Discovery Mirror Gallery again, and apparently the entire cast was here half an hour ago. The whole cast, because the, their panel is in Hall H today, and the whole cast of Discovery was here yep. from 10 to 11, and I just missed it, and I, and I wish, I wish I didn't know that, because knowing that I just missed it made it so much worse. <sighs> well, Ghostbusters World with the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man. So that is that is the original Ecto-1 Ghostbusters car from the movie. That is really cool. Oh, is it just a photo booth? The photo actually opportunities in here. This line is for going into the trailer. Oh, it's just to see the trailer? It's not for the movie trailer, so what we're doing is, did you watch the movie? Yeah. So it's essentially to have a discussion amongst fans, amongst yourselves. We have someone in there kind of leading the discussion, their 15-minute oh. discussion, because the way the movie ended so it's a support group. It's a support it's group. It's an Infinity War support it's group. Okay. Infinity War. We call it group hug. Okay. And we get a t-shirt. Got it. And get one of these lovely okay. at the end of it. All right. And, uh, yeah, yeah, I get it. Okay, cool. At the uh, Razor, Razor booth. There's a blade still. Right. Ooh, look at this. It's the new, the new blade for Done with Comic Con, done with both days, which was both as exhausting as it was awesome. Unfortunately, this year did not get to go inside the convention center because I did not get a badge, was not, did not get lucky in the lottery, but got a pretty good outside Comic Con experience. Got to see lots of cool things, and yeah, so Comic Con, Comic Con is done at least for me for this year. I hope I will return someday. We shall see. Well, now that Comic-Con is over, I'm going to head back to LA to the Hollywood area this time because I want to go see some various uh, filming locations for ver different things, mostly Star Trek stuff. Um, there's lots of filming spots in there. It's all within a 30 mile radius of Hollywood. So I'm gonna head on a road trip from San Diego back to LA after Comic-Con. So that's what's happening today. On the beach again. There's lots of beaches along here. It's funny how that works. Almost like we're driving right along the coast zone. <laughs>
Well, I'm back in LA and uh, I'm stopping by this uh, local arts and crafts store to pick up some supplies for a mystery project that we're going to be doing in LA. I am at the California Science Center to see the space shuttle. And there's a, uh, there's some planes and stuff around here and apparently you can see King Tut, but I don't care about that. I just want to see the space shuttle. I made it to Hollywood and uh, the reason I know it's Hollywood is because there are a few small signs and one big sign namely that one over there the the one that says Hollywood so I am at Vezquez Rocks which is north of LA and those of you uh, familiar with the original Star Trek may remember the infamous battle between Captain Kirk and the Gorn in the original series episode, Arena. And, oh, there's a truck there. Uh, and Vasco's Rocks is where they filmed that battle. Um, so I'm going to go to the exact spots where the battle was filmed and reenact the battle between Captain Kirk and the Gorn. So it's gonna be real cool. Well, I asked the ranger guy and apparently drone flying is not allowed here. It sucks because it seems like everywhere it'd be awesome to fly a drone. You're not allowed to fly a drone. Because <laughs> that's how it works now. So, fun fact, this place is actually marked on Google Maps as a Star Trek historical site. For, because they filmed the battle here and it's so iconic. But this, that's the, that's the ledge. That's the main, the main area. So we're going to try to recreate the battle. So there are a bunch of cars around here, but you know, we'll make do.
Well, I just finished filming my reenactment of the battle with the Gorn, and it was awful and cheesy and ridiculous, but that was kind of the point. So I hope it turns out just the right kind of bad. <laughs> like, I, I know it's going to be bad, but like not too bad, you know? We'll see. Well, it is my last day in California. I have a midnight flight out of LA to get back home. But before I go home, there's still a few more things in the Hollywood area that I'm gonna go see. Uh, Griffith Park, the site of basically every sci-fi planet ever conceived. Um, Hollywood Walk of Fame, maybe. And then there's a few other places that uh, will be familiar to Star Trek fans that I'm gonna go see. But yeah, it's another road trip day. Well, I'm at Bronson Canyon in Griffith Park, and this is the site where a bunch of things have been filmed. Basically every science fiction planet ever conceived. Uh, Bronson Caves, I know, are uh, the Bat Cave in the old Batman TV show. And of particular interest to me is uh, Eladrell 4 from the Star Trek episode Darmok is filmed here. I mean, not here specifically, but somewhere in the park. Um, but just look at this, look at this terrain. If you've watched sci-fi, I can almost guarantee you've seen this terrain before because it is, everything is filmed here. You can just make so many different sci-fi planets out of this one place. There's the cave right up there. So this was the Bat Cave. And it's also, the interior here was used as the interior of Ruapente. And this cave, I think this, I think it's this cave right here. But let me go check it out. So this is the Bronson Cave. It's not that big actually. This is kind of a straight, ooh, there's the echo. It's just kind of a straight walk through. I think this place might be where the campfire was. Look at this. So, the other captain is over there with his fire. The card over here trying to start one failing and then he gives him is that here this is not this is not very distinct I can't tell I'm sure if it, I'm sure if I'm wrong someone will tell me in the comments but so I'm thinking this area here might be Eladrill 4 I'm not positive but it might be so I'm just walking along and then suddenly, suddenly Hollywood. <laughs> this kind of pops out of nowhere there. But yeah. Well, I'm in the Hollywood is in the actual street on the, the Walk of Fame with all the stars. You see the names of lots of people I've never heard of. And I'm sure there are a few I have heard of, but there's just so many of them. There's someone I know. So I am at a Japanese garden at a water reclamation plant right outside of LA. And those of you who have seen Star Trek will probably be familiar with this place because this was where they filmed Starfleet Academy, the exterior, in uh, The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, and Voyager. It's been in a number of episodes. But uh, they would, anytime they'd have the exterior of the academy, it'd be out here. And that building was supposed to be the academy itself. They did uh, matte paint over it a little bit to disguise it as Starfleet. And uh, in the episodes, of course, the, uh, the location of Starfleet Academy is supposed to be in San Francisco. So they had the, um, the, bri the Golden Gate Bridge over in the background over there. But of course, it's not in San Francisco, so it's not 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 really there. But it's 
all sorts of locations around here that are familiar. It's weird seeing a place like this that I've seen so many times before but I've never actually been to. It's so familiar and yet so unfamiliar at the same time. Alright, I got one more stop in the Hollywood area before heading to the airport and it's a familiar building. Next stop, airport. My flight leaves at midnight. It's 8 o'clock. Well, I made it home after almost 20 hours in airports and on planes. It's all a bit of a blur and I haven't slept very much, but I am home. The trip was a success. It is finished. California, a nerd pilgrimage is over. So if you enjoyed this vlog, like it, you didn't, and don't. Either way, I am going to go to sleep now.